And just as a footnote, if this video has sort of been jerky or the sound's been distorted or whatever, it's largely because my computer's on the way out dying or it's just not handling video very well, so apologies in advance for that. Hi there, it's the extraordinary tourist here or eTourist 2 as I'm known on YouTube. I watched your latest call out video and noticed that uh, I, I'm kind of the headline call out person on there and I noticed that you took a lot of um, my boy who cried wolf comment on your previous video so I thought before I get into answering your call-out questions that it might be an idea just to perhaps elaborate a bit on what I meant by the boy who cried wolf comment. So I don't know how many of your subscribers have been subscribed or have been watching you for as long as I have. Uh, I think initially I started watching you about watching your videos about a couple of weeks after you joined YouTube. So I seem to recall that when you subscribed to me, you mentioned that you'd only been a member of YouTube for a couple of weeks yourself. And since that time I have been a subscriber of yours, but currently I'm not. And the reason I'm not is not because I unsubscribed from you but because you actually unsubscribed me from your videos for reasons best known to yourself but and I know you did it at least once but I think you may have possibly done it twice to me because I remember a time before that where I became unsubscribed to your videos and I don't think in all the time I've been on YouTube I've ever actually unsubscribed from anyone that I'm subscribed to. So, um, And the reason I haven't resubscribed to your videos is because I have you down as a friend in my friend lists and I get all your bulletins anyway. So I pretty much know whenever you put out a bulletin when you that you've got a new video up and that I should go over and check out and watch it so it's not that I don't think you're worth subscribing to but the videos that I actually watch of yours are usually the ones that aren't responses to other people and they're usually the ones that you put out as bulletins so but getting on to the boy who cried wolf comment ever since I have been watching your videos Perhaps about every three to four weeks you seem to come over with this feeling of negativity as you put it and threaten that you're going to leave YouTube. And you've done this at least three or four times now. And this last time where you threatened to leave I noticed that you even deleted all your videos from your channel page. Um, and then before I even knew it, you were back on YouTube with a new video, which is the video that I put the comment on about the boy who cried wolf. And the time you were so supposedly away from YouTube was less than 24 hours now it's usually like three to four days between videos for me so someone who's leaving YouTube that comes back within a day of actually leaving that that's not leaving that's just taking a break um, so for me at least you're getting to be a bit like the boy who cried wolf every three or four weeks you say you're leaving but 
you're not really, you'll be back, so like, who cares, really? I'll see you when you get back, kind of thing. So that, that, that's where I'm coming from with that. Um, I still enjoy watching your videos. I think you're a very interesting person. I don't think you need to do this leaving YouTube drama to create interest and get people commenting again on your videos. I think it's actually a bit beneath you. You're far more sort of interesting and a much deeper person than that. But yeah, I'm starting to ramble on that, but that's where I was coming from. I didn't mean any offence by it or whatever. It was good to see with this latest video you got out there and did some filming in your mum's car and out in the post office and on location in a park. That was excellent. It's a good change and I know it's not always easy to get out and do that stuff, but yeah, it was, it was a good change. So. With that in mind, I'll get on and answer your call-out questions. Uh, the first one was, what music do you like, and do I like rock? The answer to the second part is, yes, I do like rock, um, but I have a really broad musical taste, and I tend to favour like alternative rock bands rather than your mainstream pop bands and those things. I don't have any particular favourites um, in general, but my one favourite musical artist of all time is David Bowie, and I may have even said that in a previous video or had it in my profile or whatever. Um, I've been following his music since I was about 12 years old, possibly even younger. Um, and I pretty much enjoy a lot of what he does, including his latest stuff. But yeah, I have broad tastes. I go right into classical and um, even music from the 50s and 60s, I don't mind. So, but in general, I'm sort of your alternative rock kind of fan. Um, your second question was, when I'm not blogging, what do I do? Well, obviously you've seen that I'm an artist and I do art, uh, paint pictures, uh, I'm trying to run a business, uh, video is becoming more and more a part of that. I write articles for my written blog, which I have on Blogger, and generally everything I do is focused towards running my business. Uh, so that's what I do when I'm not blogging. I'm a bit of a workaholic in that sense. Uh, yeah, so that, that's pretty much what I do when I'm not blogging. Occasionally I'll kick back and watch a bit of TV maybe, but usually end up kicking back and watching YouTube videos. So. Number three if I could have any superpower, what would I want? And you sort of stipulated not necessarily something that you've seen in a movie. Um, that's a real sort of hard one. I probably should have thought of that a lot more before I made this video, but I've only got a limited amount of time to actually make this video so I wanted to get it out of the way so that I could get it posted as soon as possible for you. Um, superpowers. Mm. No, I can't really answer that question. I don't really know never really thought about superpowers that I'd want. I'm fairly happy with what I can do. Um, perhaps some kind of superpower to gives me the ability to stay focused a bit more would be nice so that I can get through what I'm doing, but I don't know, that's pretty lame, so that's the best answer I can give you for that. Uh, if I had one wish 
for a person or myself, what would it be? Uh, well, this is a pretty easy one, and uh, it's probably one that the person in question will be probably see because I know she watches all my videos. Uh, that's my mum. She recently was diagnosed with breast cancer, and she's been going through all that, the treatment that goes with that, and. Thankfully it appears she's coming through it with a clean sort of slate and all the cancer's gone, so if I had one wish for any person, I'd wish for her to have a sort of healthy remainder of her life and no reoccurrence of the cancer, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'd wish for, because uh, treatment for any cancer just isn't good, so that's that. And getting to your fifth question, uh, do I have a favourite food? Um, it's kind of hard to top, to sort of have a favourite food. I'm sort of quite like a lot of foods. I'm sort of a big pizza fan. I don't like to eat too much of it. Really like homemade pizzas better than sort of fast food shop bought kind of pizzas. Um, big fan of fish and what the English would call fish and chips or what you might call fish and fries. Don't know. Don't know what you'd call that but we call it fish and chips anyway. Um, big fan of that. Especially if you get it as a meal at a restaurant, it's usually well done or well cooked and it's really quite nice uh, but yeah I wouldn't say I had a particularly favourite food um, other than perhaps your homemade pizzas which are usually come out a lot better than your shop bought or fast food style pizzas so there you go, I've responded to your call out. Um, keep up the videos. Um, I, I do watch them and I think you really do do a good job. Uh, the message is spread with the positive sort of ideas and thoughts are really worthwhile and I hope you'll get out of this cycle of sort of threatening to leave YouTube and perhaps find a different direction or a different way of encouraging your subscribers and people to get more involved with your videos and YouTube in general so until next time We'll see you later.